Today we are visiting Femke at her home. She's one of the founders of the horse rescue foundation Algarve Horse Alarm and manages the intensive care that's located at her house. Hey little one. Hello, can I pet you? When they first are rescued, normally they first arrive here because they need some more special care and attention. Yeah, and uh, you live here. I live here, there. I can, from my home, see the horses and just come when they really need care. Uh, so that's why you have the foals here? The at the moment we don't really have a proper place to have the foals. The only place which is considerably safe is the intensive care, but the intensive care is supposed to be free for horses that need that attention all the time. So this is uh, Jupiter, and he was rescued, I think, now two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah, also when they arrive, it's just like Hope, the one that just arrived a few days ago. They have almost no energy, but now he starts to kick at the others and play around. And... Femke told me that most of these foals come from a nomad camp and were around four months old when they were rescued. The previous owners wanted to take care of them, but they didn't know how. And when the foundation wanted to pick them up, their moms were not present. This is a very common situation for Algarve Horse Alarm when it comes to rescue foals. At this moment, the foals are not being raised by an adult horse, which would naturally be better. The foundation has been trying to put the foals together with different horses, but the perfect match has not been found yet. In one case, a horse bit a foal to show his dominant behavior. And in another case, Mileva, the skinny horse you've seen in my previous videos, was also introduced to the foals, but that didn't work out as well. But the problem with Mileva was she was rescued and she came here. But she enjoyed so much the foals that she started to produce milk. Oh, and she's so skinny. She is so skinny that we said, no way, you're not <laughs> producing milk. We are getting no, you out of here. Yeah, you need the energy, you need for, energy yourself. for yourself. This is Hope. He was dehydrated, starved and neglected in so many ways when he arrived. The foundation was told that he fell inside a water kennel, which caused him bruises and wounds. The owners were not intentioned to look for help, and therefore the foundation paid 40 euros and a bag of horse food to be able to save him. In most cases, the foundation has to pay to rescue a horse, even when it's in a bad condition. Most owners in this region want to sell their horse only for the meat price, which is around 150 euros. For them, it's more important to get money than giving their horse a second chance and better life. So this is many times it happens with the foals when they come so weak that they have some difficulties uh, lifting up. Yeah, I can imagine. You sometimes have it with very um, older horses. Older horses yes. too. Yes, yes. Thank you. 
<laughs> Amazing. We just see him grow. He's being playful. Someone started to uh, run away from us without a good reason. Don't you get a bit emotional yeah. when you see that? Even yeah. I get a bit yeah. emotional. I, I, I actually, I am with the team. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after the first days, you don't know if they will survive. Mm -hmm. Especially in the case of Hope, he had like such an infection on his body that, yeah, he could he could have died. But now, like, it passed four or five days, and look at him. Mm -hmm. Like, he wants to, um, yeah, live. Live, yeah. Oh, he likes to. <laughs> He's putting so much weight to it. <laughs> looks so weird because he doesn't really look happy, you know? But he's putting all his weight on his. Yeah, well, to you. Years, yeah. He's really concentrated now. Well, we are repairing the fence here. Femke saw that someone stole her poles. Someone stole over 20 or 30 of those poles uh, because this is one of our fields and we don't come here every day. But apparently someone came here and stole like 20 or 30 of those poles. We even stole poles there, not only on the right side of the road. We called some volunteers to help collect and build up the fence again, so the new horses of the foundation could live in this field soon. And it's all back now. Well, we got some other poles from the foundation and placed them here with a the little team. <laughs> 